What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Echo English. Have you ever had difficulty understanding English speakers when they speak? You hear words and you wonder, why don't I understand what they're saying? Well, let me tell you that it might be because what we write and what we speak are sometimes very different. Today, I want to teach you four words, have to, want to, going to, and got to. They're pronounced very different from how we write them. And after this lesson, you will be able to hear much better how native English speakers speak. Are you ready? Let's go to the computer and find out how we do it. All right, welcome back everyone to another episode of Echo English. Today's lesson I think is very important. We're going to talk about English listening. I'm going to teach you four words that when you learn them, your listening is going to improve tenfold. So let's get started. Those four words that I talked about are going to, want to, got to, and have to. Let's take a look at going to which turns into gonna. Okay, so here are some examples of going to. Now the very first example of going to I will show you is how it is written. This is the way that you want to be writing it if you're doing any essays. This way right here. So this is probably our most formal way to use this word. However, when people speak, and you'll hear this, they will tend to use number two, which is gonna. So instead of, I am going to buy a car, or I am going to listen to music, people will say, I'm gonna buy a car, or I'm gonna listen to music. So you can hear that that going to up here becomes gonna. The two almost disappears. Now there's a third example that I thought of which English speakers use which is even more reduced than number two which is number three which is I'm gonna. For instance, I'm gonna buy a car or I'm gonna listen to music. This reduction almost takes away the entire verb. But people use this a lot and I use it as well, so I think it's important for you to know. Also, keep in mind that you don't have to speak this way. But you need to know how to listen and understand that this is what we're saying. Warning. Pay attention to the person. When you're using going to, you have to have the pronoun to be in front. And that is often reduced to a contraction as well. So I am here becomes I'm here. So you have I'm gonna. But in the second person here, he is gonna becomes he's gonna, not he gonna. You have to remember that the is is there and you must say it. Also, they are gonna here, they're gonna. Do not forget the contraction are, which is right here. And the last example, we are gonna, or we are gonna. We have we are, which becomes a contraction here. Not we gonna, but we are gonna. Okay. I think we're ready for our next word, want to. This is also a very useful contraction. So here's our first example. This is how the word works normally. If you speak slowly, people will say, I want to watch TV. But this sounds a little weird. So some people, in fact, most people in colloquial speech, in colloquial speech or normal speech will say this one, I wanna. In which case the two disappears and you're left with this. Also remember that this wanna right here is not correct spelling. We do not write this. So do not write this. But we do speak it. And 
In the third person, pay attention to the he, she, and it. For, ex- for instance, she wants to go to the store, not she want to go to the store. Next word, got to and gotta. Got to is the formal way to say this verb, which has a very similar meaning to have to. So, for instance, here we have, I gotta go, I got to go. But we tend to say, I gotta go, because it's faster. Also notice that the two disappears, and we're left with gotta. And this sound right here is called a flap, which is a very quick movement of the tongue. It's a sound that some languages do not have. It's a re, re, gotta, gotta, gotta. So it's not gotta, and it's not gada, it's gotta. So keep that in mind when you hear people say this word. Also pay attention to the third person, he, she, and it. So... I gotta go, but he's gotta go. So he, she, it, you must include the verb is or to be. But the I, you do not need am. So there's no need to have am. And our last example is have to, or as we like to say, have to. Have to is the formal way of saying this word. I have to go. But this also sounds a little bit strange. We prefer to say have to. So this example is the most common. I have to go. And also, this is not correct spelling. This is just what I've written. You must spell it this way, but we pronounce it like this. Have to. And for the second, third person, I'm sorry. For the third person, it's has to. So, he has to buy bread or she has to go to school. This is also not correct spelling. You must write has to. But when we speak, you say has to. Well, hopefully that helps. Now you know a better way to pronounce going to, to gonna, want to, to wanna, got to, to gotta, and have to, to have to or has to. And that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps you improve your English listening skills. And subscribe and tune in to the next episode. I'll be making many more in the future. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care. Bye-bye.